I'm Mel Scott. I've been a resident of St. George since 1970. I'm originally from Indiana, but I love Utah, and I love the colors of Utah. There's nothing more beautiful than the red dirt and the blue sky and color, color. Um, so I do alcohol ink, and I do alcohol ink on wood. I do it on paper. I do it on ceramic tiles, and I work in watercolors. And I'm the founder of the Watercolor Society and the first president of the Watercolor Society here in St. George. We called it the Southern Utah Watercolor Society and they changed the name while I was gone on a mission for the LDS Church. So now it's the Dixie Watercolor Society. But I am a member still of that organization. These are some of my watercolors. And you can tell that I do love the Red Hills. I love Gunlock, I love the water. I was hired at Tuacon High School in 2003 to teach art, and I was there for 10 years. There was one art class, and then it became full art, and I was teaching full-time from, from that experience. I teach my students to play, to play with color. And the biggest question they always said was, what if we did this? What if we did that? And so I have learned to play with all mediums. I taught them to do watercolor with coffee. And once they mastered the coffee and the values, then I taught them how to use watercolors. And then we went into oils, we went into pastels, and this is a pastel of Padre Canyon, the view that you see at Tuacon as you're sitting there waiting for a production to start. And that was done as a demo for my kids. And then we stood at the top of the canyon, they all drew. Uh, with those mediums, but uh, I love teaching. I'm right now, I'm teaching at the university and I teach three classes for community ed. I teach drawing and I teach two classes of painting and, and beginning painting and mostly that's watercolor and uh, intermediate, intermediate painting. I have a gallery and studio in my home. I'm a member of the Arts to Zion. And um, so if you see the yellow sign in my yard, I'm open for business, just those times when the city allows me to do that in my studio. So why don't we go to my studio and let's see where it all begins. Hey, come on in. Come to my studio and my gallery, my abode. <laughs> this is where it happens. Let me turn on the light so you can see. All right, it's a little dark in here today. This is the gallery room. I'll let you look around at these. This is an interesting painting I've been working on for a couple years, and I've carried this little burl of wood around for probably three moves. And I found it at girls' camp, and I just carried it with me because I thought one day I'm going to use it. I'm not sure what this means, but I know what it means to me, and that is that we all return to our roots, and um, this is the mother tree. This is what I titled this one, the mother tree. I have my mother's picture in there, my picture, and uh, daughter, and I have some other figures in here that are very personal to me, but actually very personal to women in general because it's all about the different phases of woman the young one, the old one, and how we return to our roots for knowledge. I work for a humanitarian project and they put my paintings on their items and when anything sells then somebody gets a meal and somebody gets a place to sleep and they teach people how to read and write around the world. So this is a humanitarian project I'm doing with my artwork, a way to give back. Not just hang it, but to use it. Um, this is actually a sheer wrap, they call it a sheer wrap. It's also on a pillow, right down here. And this is alcohol ink painting. And uh, the original sold, but I still, I can wear it. I can sleep on it. I can eat off it. I can do all kinds of things with this company. So I love the company. I started doing alcohol ink on ceramic tiles. We would sell them for coasters and people would buy them and use them. Then I found this company that can take a picture of my tile and they can put it on clothing or purses or whatever I want it on. And so these are just the last of my tiles that I've, that I've got done. 
and uh, just having the most fun with these little tiny spots of color that I can put around the house and people can put around and under their drinks so they can use it it's functional um, but just to liven up a little little tiny corner of, of, a, of a place this is where I sit and get my inspiration and uh, these have these paintings have not been out of my this corner I haven't shown, shown those I went through some files and I found out a reminder I have been doing this since 1977 I was president of the Southern Utah, or uh, what's it called, the Southwestern Utah Art Guild, and uh, we've been doing this for a long time. I had an I had an office in the city in the, where the Leisure Services was, which is now the uh, Children's Art Museum. So I've sort of grown up with the arts in St. George, and uh, I've enjoyed meeting so many different people. Um, I know almost every artist in town, except the new ones that are coming in. But, um, man, the established ones, I know them very well, and I've painted with them for years. Um, it's just been wonderful to be involved in the arts. And not just the painting, but with the symphonies, with the drama, with the music, with all of it. Um, every child is an artist, and I firmly believe every child is born an artist. The problem is staying the artist as we age. And I don't think we ever lose the artistic soul. I think we just have to unlock it. And I really think that's my mission, is to unlock that artist that's inside. <laughs>